Welcome back. I'm Gino, Gino Perez Adventures. It's good to have you. I'm going to go in a little deeper on some of the dangers of Columbia that I shared with you on my last video. Uh, I just want to make it make sure that it doesn't scare you off from Columbia, but it just you just need to be care very careful. And and I guess in today's modern world, it's that way anywhere. So let's just let's start at the bottom. <clears throat> when you get off the airplane in Bogota, you're pretty safe, and you get to your hotel, and there's some really strange things going on, uh, especially with the internet and internet dating. And some people come down to Colombia because they met a girl online, and they go to the hotel, and then the girl calls them and wants to meet them in some barrio. Uh, that they need to take a cab to and everybody in the hotel tells them not to go and they go anyway and lo and behold when they get there they get robbed imagine that uh, that same scenario could play out anywhere it could play out in LA it could play out in Santa Fe New Mexico uh, it could play out in London it could play out in Madrid um, so, yeah, that's pretty dangerous, but if you'll notice, the culprit in the scene there was the, the dummy that went over to the lady's house. The lady had it all planned out. So those things do go on. Um, in Bogota, if you ride the metro, there are a lot of pickpockets, and they're really good at it. And more than likely, if you look like you've got money on you or you've got a watch on or you've got a, a ring on, they're going to either pick your pocket or rob you at knife point. So you don't wear gold jewelry. You don't wear diamond jewelry. You pretty much don't wear any jewelry. You don't wear a watch. And you keep your cell phone in your front pocket. <clears throat> if you put your cell phone in your back pocket, you are a walking target for a pickpocket or you're a walking target just for somebody to walk by and rob you um, also if you if you're talking on your phone or you're taking pictures with your phone and you've got it at arm's length and you're not paying attention to your surrounding areas they're going to have your phone and i don't know if that goes on in the united states uh, but i would imagine that there's some places that are dangerous enough that that goes on and they'll rob you. Uh, the cabs are, are safe. I've never gotten in a cab that was anything but a amicable, amicable person. Uh, Bogota, Medellin, Cartagena, and Cali are the four largest cities in, in Colombia. And they have their no-go zones and they have their safe zones. Uh, but in whatever zone you're in, you need to always be aware of your surroundings. Bucaramanga is the fifth largest city. And it is seems to be, because that's, that's where I hang out a lot, it seems to be a lot safer than the bigger cities. Bogota and Medellin are famous for robbing people, for robbing people at gunpoint. At, well, not so much gunpoint, but at knife point. Venezuelans like life knives. Okay. Well, because they mostly can't get pistols. I'm sure if they could get pistols, they'd have one. Um, and they do, they rob, uh, they hijack motorcycles, motor scooters. Any, any theft that you can think of happens here. Any theft that you can think of happens in the United States. Any theft you can think of happens in England. So just be careful. Um, when you're out on the road, always be be aware if you're if you're in a car. Um, don't don't put a lot of trust in your fellow man if you're out and about in an unknown place with a lot of people. Uh, just be aware of your surroundings. I don't know how to impress on you any more than that. I've lived here for about two years now, going on three, and. I've never been robbed, thank, thank the Lord. Uh, I've never been beaten up. I've never, I've never even really been scared. 
Uh, another thing you need to think about is if they have some nice casinos, and if you go to the casinos, be careful when you leave because if someone marks you with a, with a lot of money, you could be a mark for a robbery. Uh, if you go to the bank and you withdraw a lot of cash, like when you go to an ATM, you have to be very careful and look around, um, just like anywhere. So with that being said, um, if you've got any comments, put them in the put them in the comment below, and I will I will address them. And uh, if not, like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification button, and I'll try to bring you as many as I can.